great. Thank you so much. How many people do we have on the call today? I only see three names. We've got uh, – now, that's because we're both in our Lancaster office as well as our Harrisburg office. So we've got uh, 12 or 13 on the call. How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Fantastic. How about a hand, how about a hand for, uh, for Harry for that great introduction? Hey, man, you're – Dave, you're a real sweet talker. All right, let's go. That's right. What, what, hey, this is what we're doing, man. We're sweet talking. So uh, we've got about 30 minutes today, right, Harry? Correct. All right, fantastic. So I don't, if, you, if you guys have a webcam, I'd love to see you guys. If you want to hit, hit the camera on that, I'd love to see the reactions I've got uh, and, and, the, and you know, what I'm getting from you guys. Um, uh, so today we're, fo we're, we're focused on – go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, we, not yet. Yeah, we uh, we don't have a okay. webcam up at this point. All right, I know some people with that that do office technology that could hook you guys up. All right. Oh, we're working on it, buddy. So, so here's here's what I want to do, guys. We're we're focused on some objections, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine objections that uh, that Harry sent me. Let's see, yeah, you guys are good right there. You guys can see me. Um. Right. And uh, <clears throat> let's just get right into it. Here's the thing with objections, and if you're taking notes, I really hope you guys are taking notes because I'm not just going to give you word tracks for the the objections or what you think are objections that that you're getting. We're going to go even deeper than this because this is this isn't about just knowing exactly you know what to say when somebody says something. This is this is actually an internal problem. When you're handling objections, you got to think about <clears throat> number one. I've got this problem, and a lot of people don't understand this. So the number one thing I want you to write down, the, the first note is take responsibility for everything. And the way you can do that is when somebody says, we'll take the first one here. We have your information. If we need anything, we'll get in touch with you. If you're taking full responsibility for everything that happens in the sale, how would you, how would you say that? I would say, I'm with you. Number one, I'd always agree. If, if, I know you guys, uh, some of you may have gotten to the section under selling basics uh, or understanding the buyer of the agreement challenge. Have, have you got there yet? We have not. We have not gotten there yet. That's okay. uh, That's understanding the buyer and it's, and it's the, the magic of agreement. So I'm going to go into that a little bit today. So the magic of agreement is you have to understand where that person is coming from. If somebody tells you, hey, I'll get in touch with you or I need to think about it or the price is too high or I need to talk to somebody else before I make a decision. You need to put yourself in that person's situation, not to make, not, not to say that they are right, but you need to be able to understand them. So one of the word tracks that I always say, whenever somebody gives me any objection, no matter what they say, I'm with you. I understand. I got it. Everybody repeat after me. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I understand. I understand. I understand. I got it. I got, I got it. it. I got it. All right. Now, the reason that you want to do that is because, number one, you want to let them know that you're listening to them. You don't want to keep, you want to be it. Like the first step is, man, I'm listening to you. I got it. I'm with you. I understand. I know the price is too high. I know you need to think about it. I know that you just want to get back to me. I'm going to send you that email. Okay. Once you are able, once you say that, the second thing I want you to say is I take full responsibility for whatever they just told you. That validates what they're saying. This makes them right in their mind. And the reason you want to do that is because nobody wants to be told they're wrong. Nobody wants to be told, hey, that's not really what's happening. They're right. So, hey, I'm with you. Completely understand. I got it. And I take full responsibility for the price being too high. I take full responsibility for you already working with somebody else. Take full responsibility for this not being in your budget. And what I want you guys to understand is, I mean, this is, this is getting deep real quick. This is an internal problem with you. If you keep hearing the price is too high, if you keep hearing it every time you call somebody, you're saying somewhere in your life, the price is too high. You're giving that off in your presentation or you're justifying it in your own head that yes, it's a, I, it, 
what's your, uh, Harry, what's your average sale? Just, just average. I know it varies from this to that, but if you were to give me a number, average sale, what, what are you looking for? 8000 $8,000. For If you keep hearing the price is too high, you think $8,000 is a lot of money. You need to ask yourself, when was the last time you spent $8,000? If you've never spent $8,000, that's a problem. You need to find a way to spend $8,000. Okay, how much was your car? <laughs> how much was your car? I mean, if you bought a Honda brand new, you probably paid 25 grand for that. Okay? If you think $8,000 is a lot of money, you just paid three times that for one vehicle. Three times. You could have bought three of those units yourself. And what is that, Harry? What, what's $8,000? Just so I can get reality on the situation. A Got a product or a service? A copier. A copier. $8,000 $8, copier. Hit about three of them, man, or I got, I got a busted Honda. It's that easy. You need to figure out why you think $8,000 is a lot of money when we live on a planet with trillions of dollars. It's a lot of money to you. That's your problem. That's an internal situation that you need to fix. Your parents told you, hey, money doesn't make you happy. They told you, finish everything on your plate. They told you, turn the lights out when you leave the room. They're telling you that there's not a lot of money. So you need to figure that out on the inside. And that's really something I want you to take away from this. Does, does everybody understand what I'm saying there? That that's an internal problem? If you think, think $8,000 is a lot of money? Is there any questions on that? No, we're good on that. All right, good. Now. Let's get into the actual objections now. I wanted to, wanted to get deep first. So the first one I have here is we have your information. If we need anything, we'll get in touch with you. So with the information that I just gave you, the number one rule of selling is always, always, always agree. How would you handle that? I know what I would say. Because I get that sometimes, man. We have your information. If we need anything, we'll get in touch with you. Number one, you're probably not talking to the decision maker, and that's the real problem. You're talking to the accountant, you're talking to the receptionist, you're talking to the gatekeeper, somebody that's keeping you from the actual person that's making the decision, because that's not, that's not really how decision makers, that's not how they talk, okay? I never heard from John, or jo I, I never heard from John, hey, Dave, thanks for the information, we'll get back to you. No, he's a decision maker, he makes decisions. Everybody else was gonna tell me, hey, back off. So number one, I need to realize where, where I am in the deal. So are you hearing that? We have your information, if we need anything, we'll get in touch with you. Are you hearing it in the greeting, the fact finding, the demo, the write up, or the close? Where are you hearing that? From whoever wrote that down, where are you hearing that in the deal? The greeting. Yeah, the greeting. Yeah, the greeting. So you don't even have their attention yet. That's the problem. You don't have their attention. And you could ask them. You got to ask tough questions. They're called probing questions. And in order to ask these probing questions, you got to have a lot of confidence and you have to be able to go where it's uncomfortable. So who, who said that? What was your name? Who said greeting? Mona. 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 Mona completely understand i'm with you okay and i take full responsibility that you that you want to call me back when uh and you'll get in touch with me i take full responsibility for that mona i don't have your attention yet do i no exactly <laughs> i would i would ask do you do you know mona when you're on those calls and they're like Hey, yeah, yeah, we'll get back in touch with you. Thanks for the information. And they keep doing this and they're pushing you away. Do you know that you don't have their attention? Yeah. 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 Ask them. Tell them, hey, hey, Mona, I don't have your attention right now, do I? You know what they're going to do? Well, no, you don't. You know what I got now? Your attention. That's what you got to do first. That is. That is a push off, brush off, reactionary defense response. Have you guys got to reactionary defense response yet? That's in the sales process. So that's, that's number one right there is you don't have her attention. And if you get her attention, I would say, Mona, 
I know you want to get back to me. I completely agree. And I take full responsibility for the fact that you want to get back in touch with me. But I don't really have your attention yet, do I? I you, I'm probably the fifth vendor that called you today about copiers. You didn't even know the other guys were top, calling you about copiers. Okay. And you told them the same thing that they're going to get back in touch with you because they don't have your attention. Am I right? Am I right, Mona? Oh, yeah. Mona, Sorry, we're role playing. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't have your attention, did I? <laughs> but you see what I'm doing? I, it, it, what, you were, what, what most of these are are stalls, re reactionary defense responses, and to keep you back. So what we're going to do is we're going to be able to have you have you go back in and probe and get their attention because number one, if you don't have their attention, there's no way you're getting to the decision maker or closing a deal. This is the first step. There's a lot of first steps. Listen, acknowledge, agree, okay, take responsibility. Those are four first steps, but you got to get their attention. So there's five first steps that I get you. So you got to do all five of them at the same time. So that's what's going to get you past, hey, I've got your attention. And then once you've got your, their attention, okay, good. Hey, listen, this is why I'm different. And you have to know these three things. So if you're taking notes, there's, there's three things I want you to do. Hey, Corey, I'm a, hey, Corey, Corey Gill, I'm on a call. Can you keep those guys down? Thanks. So what I want, what I want you to do is I want you to I didn't have his attention. So what I want you to do is write down three things. Number one. Why my company? Why my company? Just write that question down. You're going to answer these over the weekend. Why my company? Number two, why my product or service? Why my product slash service? Why my product or service? And number three, why me? Why me as a salesperson and not even any other salesperson in my company? You need to know the answer to those three in order to do the things that I'm going to tell you to do on the rest of these objections. Why my company? Why my product? And why me? Okay. So let's move into the second one. We don't have any room in the budget right now for any additional expenses. Everybody hears this every day. You need to ask yourself right off the bat, if you keep hearing this one, you're telling yourself the same thing. I, I can't get Netflix, man. I, it's not in the budget. <laughs> you know what you need to do? You need to know when somebody says, we don't have budget right now, what they're really telling you is they like to spend money. They got a bunch of it saved. And the reason they're on a budget is because they like to hand their credit card over to other people and have them slide it or bang it. Because that's the only reason somebody's on a budget. Okay. We don't have any room in the budget right now for any additional expenses. I'm with you. I got it. I completely understand. And I'm going to take full responsibility for you not having but room in the budget for any additional expenses right now. That's what I'm always going to do. Hear, understand, listen. Take responsibility, and then I'm going to say, how could you have room for any additional expenses? I bet you have a list of expenses, and not one of them on there says additional. Of course you don't. <laughs> Who does? But I know that you didn't have any room for Netflix before Netflix came out. Netflix wasn't in your budget until you had it, and all of a sudden, you got $9 for it every month. Are you with me? Yeah. You got to you got to keep it light. And what I'm doing, what I'm doing is having it make sense. I'm having it make sense. Does, is everything that I'm saying, once I get past, I'm taking responsibility. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to have happen to the customer in their mind. This is all about somebody's mind right now. Right now, they've been told, no, reactionary defense response. I'm putting my hands up. I don't want to be sold. And you're like, dude, of course you don't want to be sold. I don't want to be sold. Nobody wants to be sold. Let me show you what I can tell you. <clears throat> this works. A lot of you right now are like, dude, maybe Dave doesn't know what he's talking about. Until I started doing this is when I started to understand how it really works. So you got to understand, of course, I know that there's no budget for it. Nobody says additional expenses in their budget. Okay, and I take full responsibility for the fact that you don't have the budget. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you, and they're telling you that money's the problem, or they're thinking about money. Hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save you time, and I'm going to save you money. I only need two minutes to show you how I'm going to do that. And then you go back in, because that right there, that also happens in the greeting. Right? Right? You with me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because when, when I ask a question, I need, I'm a professional. I'm going to get a question back or an answer back. How about this one? We've been doing, we've been in business, we've been doing business with the same company for years, 30 years, the same company. Who knows what I'm going to say? Change is good. You wrote them down. Why? What's that? Why? I'm not asking them why. I don't care why. Why have you I'm with you. I understand. I get it. Question. Why? I understand. I'm with you, man. I'm <laughs> with you. I understand. I got you. I'm okay. acknowledging and validating what they're saying. I'm making them right. Of course, you're doing business with somebody else. And I take full responsibility that you've already done business with somebody else for the past 30 years. 100% of every client that I've ever done business with at Higher Information Group was already doing business with somebody else. Isn't that awesome? And the fact that you're doing business with somebody else, you know what that tells me? That tells me number two, you have room in the budget for doing business with people like me. Uh -huh. You understand that that's what he's telling you? Yeah. 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 It's the unspoken objection. That's the one you're looking for. If he tells you what the objection is, that's not the real objection. Dude, hey, I'm with, hey, listen, don't call me back. I'm already doing business with another company. Okay, good. <laughs> that helps me out because I'm only doing, I'm with you, completely understand, and I take full responsibility for you doing business with somebody else. I should have called you 30 years ago. That's my fault, sir, not yours. <laughs> and 100% of the people that I, 100% of the people that I do business with are already doing business with somebody else. So that works out great. And it helps me out because I know that doing business with companies like mine is in your budget. What's he thinking right now? I've never heard pro. anyone come back with that, <laughs> that statement before. <laughs> Which what? Which what? That gives me his? Attention. Okay. Attention. What am I get? I need his. Hey, hey, it's Dave. <laughs> I need his attention first. And in order to get somebody's attention, you have to do something that nobody else has done, which is make him right, validate him, and then make sense. Be logical. Got it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Let's get to the next one. Hey, just email me. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start for some interaction. I've done three of them. I'll, I'll help you with it, but I want somebody to step up for this one. Hey, just, hey, Dave, love it. Okay. In fact, we're actually looking for something like this and it's in the budget, right? But just email me the information. They're nice guy in you right now, by the way. Just email me the information. I'll look over it when I have time. What are most of you thinking when he says that? Especially if you're new. Going in the trash can. <laughs> you're gonna send it to someone else for a quote. Don't forget about it. Yeah, I know what I thought. I know what I thought when I first started make when I first started making calls. Hey, Dave, love it, man. Send, send me an email. I'll look over it when I've got time. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. He's going to look it over. Send an email. Something's, something's actually happening. After about 100 of them, I'm like, dude, that's, that's bull. I'm never, sending, I'm never sending an email. Dude, just email me the information. I'll look it over when I have time. What is he telling you? You don't have my attention. Whoever said that, man, you're going to get, I want to know who said that because you're paying attention. I'm sending you Andy a millionaire Morphlin. booklet, Grant Cardone's book. Yes. Andy Morphlin. Andy Morphlin. Andy Morphlin. Uh, after the, yeah. I want you to email me after the call. I'm sending, I'm personally going to send you one of my copies of the millionaire booklet. Thank you. Now I got your attention, don't I? Oh man, he's giving yes, stuff you giving stuff away. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So just email me the information. I'll look it over when I have time. How can you make sense of this? 
I, I know what I would say because I'm trained up. I'm with you. I got it. And I take full responsibility that you want an email and that you'll get back to me on that. In fact, I'm ready for it because I'm a professional. And if I'm hearing this all the time, I need to be ready for it. It's in your inbox right now. I just sent him a pre-prepared email ready because I'm on the phone with them. I know his email. Hey, or if I don't know his email, excellent. I've got it for you right now. What's the best email address? I'm ready to hit send. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, I got his attention. I'm going to tell him yes. Dude, whatever you want, man, I surrender. I'm giving you what you want, which is what nobody else wants to do for you. I'm going to set myself apart. Sir, absolutely no problem. I'm sending you something right now. In fact, what would you like me to send you? I had this happen to me yesterday. Say, hey, Dave, just send me an email. I'll take a look at it. Excellent, sir. I'm going to send it over to you right now. What do you want in the email? Well, uh, well, what do you mean? Well, you're asking for an email. I might as well send you something. What would you like? So I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you got? I got your attention is what I got. Probe. Probe. It's okay to probe. Ask the tough questions. Okay? You should walk up to every lady you meet this weekend and ask a tough question. Hey, I'm Dave. I don't know you. You don't know me. I just was wondering, how old are you? That's <laughs> 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 a tough question. I would ask that. So this is, this is the word chat. Hey, you might not be here. Hey, you got her attention. So just email me the information. I'll look it over when I have time. Excellent, sir. No problem. I completely understand. I'm with you. In fact, I'm going to send you something over right now. What would you like it to be on? Oh, the copier you were talking about. Excellent. I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to send you all the information. I'm going to give you price. I'm going to give you payment. I'm going to give you terms. I'm going to give you all the information. In fact, it's in your inbox right now. But here, now I give them everything. And then I go back in for the close. Now, Harry, I'm going to need to call you back to follow up with you. And a guy like you, it's 8.30 in the morning, man. You probably already have 100 emails, brand new emails in your inbox right now. I tell you what, it's probably going to get lost. It's not going to be your fault. It's going to be, yeah, I did something wrong. I didn't write the right subject line. I take full responsibility for that. I tell you what, why don't you just go to my website right now? I'm going to show you the product. I'm going to show you the copier. It takes 45 seconds, literally 45 seconds. If you don't like what you've seen the first 45 seconds, I'll hang up on myself, Harry. But I know you probably have an extra 100 emails in your inbox. I tell you what, let's do this right now or set up a time for me to come by so I can show this to you. Take time out of the equation. That way you can get back to all those other emails that are in your inbox that you're ignoring. Yeah, let's set up a time. Everybody went quiet. Let's set up yeah, time. exactly. See what I did there? It's the same. It's the, I want you guys to get good at the one punch, man. Practice one punch 10,000 times, not 10,000 different punches one time. I'm with you. I completely understand. I'm going to send it over to you right now. I'm surrendering. You got it. It's in your inbox. You know, Harry, a guy like you, you probably got 100 emails this morning in your inbox. It's going to get, it's going to get lost in there. I tell you what, it's in there right now. But if you got 45 seconds, Go to higher information group. I'm just going to show you a quick little snapshot of the brand new Toshiba that we've got. It takes 45 seconds. If you don't like what you've seen the first 45 seconds, I'll hang up on myself, man. You got, come on, man. Everybody's got 45 seconds. All right, let's move to the next one. We have everything we need right now. No, you don't. <laughs> That's not what you want to say. See, now I'm going the other direction. You're like, hey, wait a minute. That's not right. I'm with you. Completely understand. I got it. Surrender like you're about to hang up on yourself. Oh, we got everything. Oh, I can't handle that. I'm with you, man. Completely understand. I got it. In fact, I'm going to take full responsibility for the fact that you have everything right now. Is the fact that you have everything right now, would that stop you looking at something else that could save you time and money? No. Right. This is a powerful one. Is the fact that after you agree, acknowledge, validate, 
is the fact that you have whatever it is, whatever the objection is, is the fact that you have everything that you need right now, is the fact that the price is too high, is the fact that it's not in your budget, whatever it is, if, it's, if the fact that this, would that stop you from taking a look at it? And what this does is a deep probing question, a hard question that brushes away all the fake objections and gets to the unspoken objection. I must, somebody must be learning something. It got quiet. But just, oh, we just are writing it. hard. <laughs> all right, good. And I'm recording this too. So yep. Yep. I'll send this, I'll, I'll, I'll upload this to YouTube and then send this over to you for anybody who wasn't here or to, or to replay. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Everybody's got that one. We'll move to the next one. The price is too high. Yep. yep. Okay. Right now, every one of these, so far has not been an objection. I asked for objections and you guys are just giving me stalls. They're not even objections, man. Those are stalls. You need to know that. This next one, the price is too high. That's not a stall or an objection. That's a complaint. And if you're getting this, you need to look internally at your brain because there's something wrong with you. You went to Starbucks this morning and they said nine bucks for a coffee and a banana. And you were like, you said in your head, man, that, that's a lot of money. Really? $9 is a lot of money? If you think $9 is a lot of money, you are mentally impaired. There's trillions of dollars. It might be a lot of money to you, but it's not a lot of money. So you need to get a handle on that. When somebody says it's $9 or it's $100 or it's $200,000, you need to just start practicing this phrase and say it out loud. You ready? Are you with me? This phrase, how'd you get it so low? 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 The sport jacket, 500 bucks. How'd you get it so low, man? Freak them out too when they tell you. You go to Fresh Market or Whole Foods and they say, hey, one bag, that's $250. $250? How'd you get it so low? <laughs> and you're going to freak people out, number one. You're going to get their attention, but you're going to start to retrain your brain that that's no money. And then when some, hey, dude, it's eight grand. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably not charging you enough and you don't think it's going to work. <laughs> So the price, the price is too high. Probably what he's thinking, dude. How can I solve a problem with eight grand? I need a, I need a hundred thousand dollar problem, not an eight thousand dollar problem. You need to raise the price. So the, the price is too high. Hey man, I'm with you. I'm with you. Completely understand. And I take full responsibility for the price being too high. In fact, I knew the price was too high before I called you. And every single person I called today has told me the price is too high. I mean, damn, we paid for our own copier and we set it up in our own office and we paid too much for it. <laughs> the fact that the price being too high, that wouldn't stop you from taking a look at it, would it? No. <laughs> of course not. Dude, it's, it's a quarter million dollars for a Lamborghini. That wouldn't stop you from taking a look at it, would it? <laughs> you need to be light. You need to be light because most of these are happening in the greeting. You're talking about somebody's money. Have fun. It, it, it's, I'm having fun, but I'm doing it in a very logical way. I'm doing it very logically, and I'm telling the story, and I'm, I'm listening. I'm acknowledging. I'm validating. I'm getting the guy's attention, and then I'm looking for the real objection. Now, the next one, I need to talk, and I'm going through these real quick because we're kind of limited on time, but yep, if you want to do this again, sure. I, I'm okay on time. I, I'm good on time. I, I'm just, you know, for you guys. Um, I need to talk to my VP, my boss. I need to talk to my cat, my spouse. I need to pray about it. If they put, this is, this is, this is a stall, right? This is a stall. They're stalling you again. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. But it's also kind of a real objection. 
because you're talking about if this is the CEO, if this is the CEO, the guy who's actually making the decision and he needs to run it by somebody else, you've done a couple things wrong at this point because this happens when you're in the close. You've already got past the greeting. You've done the fact finding. You've done the demo. You've written the guy up. You've given him numbers and now you're in the close. If you're getting this, you did something wrong in the greeting and this is what you did wrong. What you did wrong was not find out if he needed to run this by anybody else, okay? So I'm talking to Harry, I'm like, Harry, okay, I've got an eight, I got an $80,000 copier. Cause then when I offer him the eight grand, he's like, man, I'm getting a deal. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm hitting him high, okay? He thinks he just saved $72,000. He got a deal. So, hey, Harry, I've got, I've got an $80,000 product. This is how much it costs. This is what it does. But before I show it to you, before I come by, I just need to ask, is there anybody else that you need to run this by to help you make a decision on this? Or are you the man? Well, I need to uh, talk to my, uh, I need to talk to my staff as well. Excellent. I love that. And the fact that you need buy-in, I'm going to take full responsibility for that. I'm with you. Who, what staff needs to be there? That, what staff are you going to run this by? What's their name? Staff A. <laughs> Who's that? Staff, staff A. A. Yeah, Staff A. Okay, good. Besides Staff A, I'm going to probe again. I'm finding out, man. Harry, besides Staff A, is there anybody else that you're going to need to run this by for you to make a decision on this? No, no, that's it. I know that's it, man. I'm with you. Of course, that's it. But is there anybody else besides Staff A that you're going to need to run this by for you to make a decision on it? No, no, only them. Okay, good. Because I'm going to hold you to that. I'm putting him on the heater. At the greeting, I don't want to spend three hours with the guy and then find out he doesn't have the decision. He's not the decision maker. He needs to do this. He needs to do that. He might be the decision maker. He might be the guy that writes the check, but he doesn't have enough confidence in himself to go, this is a good decision. I'm going to make it right. And everybody's going to do what I tell them to do. And they're going to make copies off of this. He's done something in the past that wasn't a good decision. So you need to find that out at the very beginning. So that way, Staff A is there on Tuesday at two o'clock when you stop by. Is there any reason Staff A wouldn't be there with you so that I can show this to them so we can get this done and over with? Because I know time is the utmost importance to you and I'm not wasting any of your time, Harry. I promise you that. Will Staff A be able to be there on Tuesday at two o'clock? Yes. All right, good. Except for maybe a zombie apocalypse, is there anything that would stop you and Staff A from being there? No. <laughs> Good. And then once I've got hit, dude, he has laid it down. By, and you can hear it in his voice. Like, Dave, I told you, I'm the guy. This is what's happening. And, and I'm going to be there even if there's a zombie apocalypse and a tornado at the same time. And now he's, I got some emotion out of him. And now he's, he's convicted, man. He is going to be there. That's some conviction. And he's probably going to show up early. Okay. So I need to talk to my boss. You need to fix that problem beforehand. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, so when this happens and we find out that there is someone else involved, sometimes they'll say, uh, no, we don't want to get them involved in the meeting. We, exactly. They don't I'm with you. Compl and what do you say? I completely understand. I understand. I got that. I'm with you. I take full responsibility for you not wanting to bring that to them yet. Of course you don't. Why are they saying it to you? Um, They're saying it to you. They're saying it to you because they're not the decision maker. Okay. I'm talking to Angela. Harry's the decision maker, but I'm Angela. She is the gatekeeper. Her job yeah. is to make sure nobody wastes Harry's time. Her job is to make sure nobody, and she gets paid money to make sure nobody wastes Harry's time. So I'm going to take a look at it. If it's a great idea, I'm going to bring it to Harry so that I get the kudos for bringing a good idea. If it's not good and I wouldn't take care of it and I wouldn't buy it, then 
I'm never going to bring it to Harry because I'm never going to waste his time. That's her job. Yeah. And when you get into the cold calling material, getting past the gatekeeper, I'm giving you some, right. What's going to happen later in the training. Okay. What you're going to, what you're going to do is Angela wants to be the decision maker. She's telling you she's not, but she wants to be. And I'm going to give her exactly what she wants. Angela, completely understand. No problem. I'm with you. And I take full responsibility that you want to handle this before bringing it to Harry. I would do the same thing. I never want to waste Grant's time. I tell her what she's thinking. I don't want to waste Grant's time. So I tell you what, this is an $80,000 decision. Are you going to be the person that's going to be making the $80,000 decision? For the, all the copiers, scanners, printer, ink, toner for the entire company, I give her all that responsibility. What's Angela going to think? That sounds yeah. a bit scary for Angela. Yeah, yeah I'm scary. Harry's, Harry's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she's going to do. She's just going to, oh, hey, yeah, Harry is actually the guy. I don't want to make that decision. It's above my yeah. pay grade. But I gave her what she wanted. I'm not going over or through or discounting. I'm validating her, making her right. And she's going to go, well, okay, you're right. And if she, and if she says, okay, let's do it, then I'm going to demonstrate her as if she was the, gate, as if she was the, the decision maker. I'm going to give okay. her what she wants that direction and then she's going to go okay man this is a big decision even if she doesn't think it's a good idea it's a big decision she doesn't want to be the person to say no okay i need to think about this after we've presented solutions call me in six months i, I don't have that attention touched, I, it's not I, I i think we kind of touched on that move move to the last one okay we're waiting on other quotes after we've presented a solution we're waiting on other quotes after we've presented a solution so what that what i'm hearing is you're talking to a group of people because we or you're talking to a gatekeeper who is unsure about bringing this to the decision maker do i have the scenario right yes okay good so number one i don't have the decision maker that's a problem that's a that's a real objection okay and let's say they just let's say hey the decision maker is in there Hey, we're going to, we're waiting on other quotes after we presented solutions. Remember the first three things I told you to write down the questions. You have to get that done this weekend and you have to make a list of why your company, why your product and why you completely understand Harry. I completely understand that you want to get other quotes. That's a good idea. Okay. And the fact, and, and you want to present the solution, it's going to take six months. I'm waiting, we're waiting on other quotes after we've presented a solution. Excellent, Harry. Completely understand. I'm with you. And I'm going to take full responsibility for the fact that you want to get other people's quotes. That's, I'll take responsibility for that. But let me ask you something, Harry. If the money was the same, if, the money, if everybody came back with the exact same quote on the exact same machine, who would you rather do business with? Good. Right. Who would you rather do business with? Yeah, it's a good question. Answer it. You. Thank you, sir. Hi, I'm glad it's a good question. Oh, you'd, you'd rather do business with me? Thank you. I appreciate that. Why? Because I like you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Why else? <laughs> I feel comfortable with uh, your company and what it has to offer. Okay, good. Why else? Because the solution I, I fits like our it. needs. Yeah. Okay, good. Why else? That's about it. <clears throat> Thank you. So I'm writing these down. So what you're telling me is you like me, <laughs> that's a good thing, that you feel comfortable with, with our product and service, and I've provided you with a solution. Yes. Is that, did I get that right? Okay, yes. good. And even if the price wasn't the same, you can see why we're gonna charge an extra $2,500. Now, when did you want that delivered? This afternoon or tomorrow morning? Because yeah. if you do business with anybody else, if you do business with anybody else, you will be making a mistake. 
because my company is the number one company that delivers office technology in the world. Is that right? Are you the best? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Then say it, then say it, have the confidence to say you are the best. My company, this product is gonna come with the best warranty. We're gonna over service you. I'm gonna over promise and over service and it's always gonna be taken care of. And number three, is that is that true? Is that true? Are you are you guys offering the best product out there? Even if they yes. bought it from somebody else, is buying it from you better? Yeah. Of course. Okay, good. And number three, I don't come along with any of those other quotes. No matter what price they give you, no matter what price they give you, can you help me out? No matter what price they give you, I don't come along with the deal down the street. And that's why we're going to charge you a little bit more too, because you're going to get my cell phone number. If it's midnight on Sunday and you guys are running a marathon, a telethon, then you guys are going to, you're, you're going to want me on your team. And that's why we're probably going to charge us a little bit more. Now, when do you want to get started? When do you want it delivered? Good job. That was good. Okay. There's one more thing I want to go over with you guys. You guys are still doing one segment a day right now, right, Harry? Correct. I'm going to do everything I can right now to sell you on bumping that up and doing twice as much as you've been doing. Two segments. Even if you're just going to review one segment together, that's fine. I don't want that to change. You should review one segment and then role play. You should role play what we went over today. And just start with one of them. Start with the one that's hitting you the most, like, hey, the price is too high. And everybody's just going to practice that after you, after you watch that one segment. Instead of just discussing the segment, practice the role play. It's going to change the game and go from one segment to two segments. All right, Dave. It's up to Harry, it's up to Harry but I'm, I'm going to encourage you guys to do that because some of the stuff that we're going over, if you guys already have done the training on that, we, we're going to be able to move a lot faster on the next one. So everybody's got this. Everybody's got this list that I've got. What I want to happen now is I want you to keep this on your desk for the next three weeks until our next call. And I just want you to mark, make a mark underneath the objection that you hear. So if I, hey, the price is too high, just real quick, just mark it down. Do what you can to overcome the objection. I'm with you. Completely understand. I take full responsibility for the price is too high. Everybody I talk to says the price is too high. You're paying, probably paying too much for everything else. What I want to do, and then you go into it, right? Okay? We always pay too much for everything. <laughs> I'm with you. So this is what I want to do is show you the program, and then you're going to go into it. But just make a dot, and then I want you to find out, look at where you're saying these things in your real life. And then we're going to go over that again uh, the next time we go over, because it's, this is, this is, we need to do this more than one time. Any questions, Harry? Any questions from anybody before I let you guys run? I appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate, uh, Lancaster, stay on for a second. Appreciate the time, Dave, and uh, send me that YouTube uh, so we also can get that information out to everybody. And I'll uh, I'll be in touch. Absolutely. Okay, good. Now, if I if I hop off of here, yeah. it's probably going to end the meeting. Yeah. Okay, we'll okay. call you, Andy. All right, thanks, Dave. Okay, you can hop good. off. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, great. Dave. Got it.